Science. The surface of Mars, as photographed by the American rover Curiosity, shows a diverse topography and terrain. Meteorite craters dot the surface alongside giant volcanoes, deep canyons, immense valley systems, expanses of sand dunes, and mighty cracks and fissures deep into the planet's crust. The Goblin Valley State Park in Utah, the United States, has a very similar look to it. There is no vegetation, only rocks and sand. There's no water, and erosion has left boulders that look like mushrooms or goblins. The Mars Society has chosen this landscape to create as realistic a simulation of life on Mars as possible. Six students from Louvain's Catholic University in Belgium are taking part in the scientific project baptized Mission to Mars. They'll have to live here for 15 days inside a self-contained station. If you look at the relief here, the soil is rich in iron oxide, it's very red and the area is very hilly, so it's very similar to what you can find on Mars. Future Martian explorers will have to endure cold as temperatures on the red planet plunge below minus 60. Here it's heat that is the enemy. I have two air supplies here, but it's not enough. It's designed to cool us down, but it's not optimal. It's very hot here. The students will have to perform a number of scientific tasks, just like astronauts will have to one day. For example, measuring one of the numerous dried riverbeds that snake across the Martian surface. They will have to take soil samples, no easy matter on this powdery, slippery terrain. Mars will be no walk in the park. I just took a soil sample and GPS coordinates, so our biologist will be able to analyze the bacterias present. The station contains the living quarters and also a biology lab where the samples are passed on to Florian. Here I'm trying to identify the bacteria by making them grow in different environments by making different tests. Is this the kind of experiment a biologist would make on Mars? For example, it would be a priority to try and see which bacteria we could find on Mars. It's clear that there will be no bacteria on the surface because of ionizing radiation which makes life impossible. But a few meters underground it may be possible to find bacteria. The habitat is circular and shaped much like the stage of a rocket that could one day land on Mars. Only 8 meters in diameter and with just 100 square meters of space split into two floors, the interior is spartan. Water is rationed and all food is dried astronaut rations. The only private space is the tiny bedrooms. The students use quad bikes to test the Wi-Fi coverage around the base. And if equipment fails, they have to resort to their imagination. Yeah, yeah, I'm just using a simple strainer. It can be used as a dish and concentrate all signals on the antenna. The object of the mission is to discover the best way to explore Mars and daily life is a vital part of the experiment.